you know what's going on you know what i think i think nikona playing nikona playing the emotions of the tonys the polens and the kennys nikon said you guys have an enough time enough fun with those gossips now let us show you who's the boss what is the z9 let us show you what the z9 can be what nikon can do the boss is back it's a full body top of the line mirrorless camera that does not overheat out in the hot and sultry climate while recording in 8k that strikes the absolute best balance between a tilt screen and a flip out screen and a camera that can do autofocus tracking as well as any out there in the market throw at it what you like throw a racing motorbike raging through the sand a tennis player in action sprinters racing and challenging the limits of speed a sports car blazing through the tracks throw at it what you like throw at it what you like this third teaser is not about nikon's autofocus this third teaser is not about nikon's autofocus this third teaser is about the end of a war and this sound this sound is of 30 names being hammered down the gossip coffin in one second shots been fired guys and that's the dying speed of the nikon is dead crap let's watch all the teasers again together and understand the story so far So Rishi said in his video on the Nikon third Z9 third teaser that Nikon didn't show us whether the autofocus system gives you the option to choose between objects. Well, first of all, what we saw today in this teaser is not eye autofocus. You saw the new tracking system that changes shapes according to the subject that it detects. In teaser one, we already saw that eye autofocus will offer you. the option to choose between two eyes i'm very confident that the autofocus system is going to offer us plenty of options to set it the way we want it to be set up it's a teaser it's just a little show of skin nikon will lay it bare i think it will be too hot to handle for the polens the tonys and the kennys but you know what the bigger point the bigger point right now is that this marks the end of a conversation on youtube this marks possibly an end of a narrative um that is not going to be attractive for 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 the times for the days to come after nikon have established that they are a complete system the 100 to 400 lens is about to come out we're going to have the 85 1.2 we already have the 80, 50 mm 1.2 we are hearing um new patents that nikon is sort of registering with different at different places um and how they are looking to innovate in lens design we've heard that nikon is probably working on a 35 to 50 mm 1.2 they're probably also working on a 50 to 70 1.2 we do not know whether they're going to see the light of the day but we know that all of this is being worked on we know how the system is coming of age what does this mean this means the time is nearing when the conversation is going to move from 
having look from looking at what kind of gear you have and whether where the lack to now that you have all the gear that you can possibly want you know what do you do with it how do you make the best use how do you tell the stories of the birds of the animals that you said you cannot shoot with the z62 and the z72 okay fair enough now we will have the z9 now tell us the stories now in the comment section tell us what you saw what did you see the little bird doing what's the story of the bird we're going to have beu josh coming in and joining us very soon um we are uh, we've already contacted him he is a he's an enthusiast uh, bird photographer and i've i always in, completely enjoyed the uh, stuff that he creates online so we're going to bring him in we're going to talk about uh, why he goes out and looks out for birds why he does that uh, the the motivation behind that and i'm working on a 40 mm the the nikon 40 mm z mount f2 uh, preview and uh, so that's going to come out soon and that will be my attempt to steer the conversation towards more meaningful stuff stuff that people do not search for stuff that people don't easily click on but i think it somewhere becomes a responsibility for content creators for us uh for people who want to feel creative you know we don't know at the end with how good creatives we are but we are at least want to feel creative it should satisfy us for us it becomes important that you drive the conversation there i would like to learn from you guys i would like you guys to share ideas with me teach me the way you reach out to me you you have my mail id and my instagram id down there you can reach out to me you can talk to me we can form this wonderful co community where you can co create guys co create i i know that some of you guys are geniuses okay i know that some of you guys are geniuses i want you to support this growing community i want you to steer the conversation towards more meaningful stuff it's the harder thing to do while i talk about nikon more and more if you have somehow discovered this channel this is a space where you talk about nikon and how to use nikon and how to stay positive while using a nikon a camera or nikon lens when everyone tells you that it's not a good enough camera good enough brand to use um i sort of wanted to create a safe space if you find that thought interesting attractive or decent do subscribe and show some support like this video show some support but coming back i'm going to uh, i'm working on that review and i hope that you are all able to we are all able to inspire each other you know what i remember when i was a kid i told myself that i want to live an inspired life i am not someone who makes money out of photography but this keeps me alive and i'm sure whether you do this for a living or you don't a part of what you do with your camera keeps you going and that's why we're all here and uh, i understand it's a it's a big task and uh, well i'll try okay so see you guys and stay excited for the nikon uh, z9 stay excited for nikon's future i think all that gossip about nikon is dead it's the end of all that This is the end of all that. See you.